Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Digital Signal Processing Subject Unit 1 Previous Examination Questions Explanation. So that is May 2019 regular question paper. So first we are going to discuss about short answer questions. Question number 1A. What is the necessary and sufficient condition on the impulse response for stability? So what is the stability? A system is to, said to be stable if and only if every bounded input produces a bounded output. That is the definition of the stable system. If the system responds with a bounded output for the bounded input, the system is stable. So what is the necessary and sufficient condition for the impulse response for the stable system? So that is sigma k is sigma n is equal to minus infinity to infinity magnitude of h of n less than infinity. So this is the condition, this is the necessary and sufficient condition for the impulse response for stability. If this condition is satisfied as a given system is said to be stable, otherwise it is, it is said to be unstable system. So this is the explanation of the question number 1a. Next question number 1b is, find the z transform of the sequence x of n is equal 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 into u of n, u of n minus 1. So given that the sequence is 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 u of n minus 1. So calculate the jet transform of the given sequence. So we know that the jet transform of a power n u of n is 1, 1 by 1, 1 minus the jet inverse. So similarly, jet transform of 1 by 3 whole to the power of n u of n is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 jet inverse which is considered as x of j. So now here a power n u of n is considered as x of n and n is replaced by n minus 1 we get x of n minus 1. x of n minus 1 is a power n minus 1 u of n minus 1. So this a power n u of n is considered as x of n and x of n minus 1 value is a power n minus 1 u of n minus 1. Now here small a is the 1 by 3. Now here small a is 1 by 3. So using time shifting property of the jet transform, jet transform of x of n minus m is equal z power minus m into x of z. Now the jet transform of x of n minus 1, the shifted amount is 1 second using time shifting property of the jet transform. The value of jet transform of x of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 into x of z. But x of z is equal, but x of z is equal, z transform of 1 by 3 whole to the power of n u of n, that is 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse. And substitute this x of z value into here, we get z transform of x of n minus 1 is equal, z power minus 1 into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse. In the denominator, take the LCM. Numerator and denominator z inverse is cancelled. So we get and also take the common in the denominator z inverse and after taking z inverse common numerator and denominator z inverse is cancelled. We get 1 by z minus 1 by 3. So what is x of n minus 1? x of n minus 1 is x of n is a power n u of n. And what is x of n minus 1? a power n minus 1 u of n minus 1. Now we are small a is equal to 1 by 3. So therefore, the z transform of 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 u of n minus 1 is x of n minus 1 is a power n minus 1 u of n minus 1. Small a is equal to 1 by 3. So that is z transform of 1 by 3 whole to the power of n minus 1 u of n minus 1 is 1 by z minus 1 by 3. So this is question number 1b explanation. These two are the short answer questions in May 2019 regular question paper. Next coming to the SA type questions. Obtain the direct form to realization for the given system O of n is equal minus 0.1 O of n minus 1 
plus 0.72 y of n minus 2 plus 0.7 x of n minus 0.252 x of n minus 2. So calculate obtain direct form 2 realization structure. Determine direct form 2 realization structure from the given difference equation. So first you calculate the system function from the given difference equation. First you calculate the system function or the transfer function h of j from the given difference equation. So we know that the given difference equation is y of n minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 plus 0.72 y of n minus 2 plus 0.7 x of n minus 0.252 x of n minus 2. So that is the given difference equation. So we know that z transform of x of n is x of z, z transform of y of n is y of z. Using time shifting property of the z transform, z transform of x of n minus n is z power minus n x of z. And similarly, time shifting, time shifting property of the z transform, z transform of y of n minus n is z power minus n into y of z. So first take the z transform on both sides into given difference equation. This is the given difference equation. First applying z transform on both sides into given difference equation. We get, we get z transform of LHS term is equal to z transform of RHS term. So z transform of y of n is y of z. On RHS side applying the z transform into each term. 0 minus 0 0.1 into z transform of y of n minus 1 using time shifting property of the z transform. What is the time shifting property of the z transform? z power minus n into x of z. Using that property, z transform of y of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 into y of z. plus 0 0.72 into z transform of y of n minus 2 is z power minus 2 y of z plus 0 0.7 into z transform of x of n is x of z minus 0 0.252 z transform of x of n minus 2 is z power minus 2 x of z. So y, y of z terms or y of z terms is arranged in one side and x of z terms are arranged in another side. So this y of z terms is coming to the MHS side. We have y of z plus 0 0.1 z power minus 1 y of z minus 0 0.72 z power minus y of 2 is equal 0 0.7 x of z minus 0 0.252 z power minus 2 x of z. On LHS side, for all the terms, take the common y of z. And on RHS side, both the terms take the common x of z. We get the above equation may also be arranged as y of z into 1 plus 0 0.1 z inverse minus 0 0.72 z power minus 2 is equal x of z. On our just take the common x of z, we have x of z into 0 0.7 minus 0 0.252 z power minus 2. So y of z is coming to the LHS side and this within the bracket term is going to the RHS side. We have y of z by x of z is equal y of z by x of z is equal to y of z by x of z is equal So what is y of z? y of z is the output of the system and x of z is the input to the system. The ratio of output by input is called as a system function or transfer function. So that is h of z is equal 0 0.7 minus 0 0.252 z power minus 2 by 1 plus 0 0.1 z power minus 1 minus 0 0.72 z power minus 2. This equation, this system function may also be arranged as using direct form to realization structure. Now we are the draw the direct form to realization structure. So because of that, the above system function may also be arranged as on LHS side, on LHS side, multiplying numerator and denominator by W of Z that can be arranged as on LHS side, Y of Z by W of Z into W of Z by X of Z is equal. RHS term is also 
represented as is also written as 0.7 minus 0.252 to the power minus 2 mm -hmm. into 1 divided by 1 plus 0.1 to the power minus 1 minus 0.7 to the power minus 2. Where where y of z by w of z is 0.7 minus 0.25 to z power minus 2 and w of z by x of z is 1 by 1 plus 0.1 z power minus 1 minus 0.72 z power minus 2. So first simplifying w of z by x of z is equal 1 by 1 plus 0.1 z power minus 1 minus 0.7 to z power minus 2. And after that simplifying y of z by W of Z is equal 0.7 minus 0.252 Z power minus 2 term. So now, first reducing, now consider W of Z by X of Z is equal 1 divided by 1 plus 0.1 Z power minus 1 minus 0.72 Z power minus 2. So take the cross multiplication, X of Z is equal 1 into X of Z is equal W of Z into this term. Multiplying W of Z within the bracket term, we have W of Z plus 0.1 Z power minus 1 W of Z minus 0.72 Z power minus 2 W of Z. Now taking inverse Z transform on both sides. Now taking inverse Z transform on both sides. Z transform of X of N is X of Z. X of Z is the Z transform of the sequence X of N and X of N is a inverse Z transform. So now taking inverse Z transform on both sides, we get Z inverse of X of Z is X of N. Z inverse of W of Z is W of N. So using time shifting property of the Z transform. What is the time shifting property of the Z transform? The time shifting property of the Z transform. Z transform of X of N minus M is equal to Z transform of X of N minus M is equal Z power minus M into X of Z. So, so taking the inverse Z transform mean Z inverse of Z power minus M X of Z, Z inverse of Z power minus M X of Z is equal X of N minus M. So, using this property, so Z inverse of Z power minus 1 W of Z is W of N minus 1 minus 0 0.72 into Z inverse of Z power minus 2 W of Z is W of N minus 2. So this is equation 1. So first to draw the realization structure of this equation, this difference equation. So in this equation, how many delay elements are there? In this equation, there are two delay elements. So what are the two delay elements? One is W of n minus 1 and the second delay element is W of n minus 2. So first to draw the realization structure of this equation. And this is the above difference equation. Draw the realization structure of this equation. So this equation consists of there are two delay elements. So what are the two delay elements? One is the W of n minus 1 and second one is W of n minus 2. And what is the input of this realization, this difference equation? X of n is the input to the system. And what is the output of this equation? W of n is an output of the structure. So first to draw the delay elements. How many delay elements are there here? There are two delay elements. That is z power minus 1, z power minus 1. 
and the input to the this delay element is W of n and what is the output of this delay element W of n minus 1 and what is another delay element W of n minus 2 so consider another delay element get power minus 1 And what is the input of this delay element W of n minus 1 and output of this delay element is W of n minus 2. And there are two summing points, there are two adders. And this is one adder or summing point and this is another adder or another summing point. So what is the input to the system or the differential, this differential equation x of n and output is W of Output is W of N. So what is the differential equation x of n is equal 1 into w of n 1 into w of n so this quotient is 1 into w of n and what is the w of n minus 1 quotient 0 0.1 0 0.1 and what is the w of n minus 2 quotient minus 0 minus 0 0.72 minus 0.72 so this equation is satisfied from this structure. So W of n is x of n is equal 1 into W of n plus 0 0.1 W of n minus 1 plus minus 0 0.72 W of n minus 2. So this is the realization structure of this difference equation. <coughs> Next simplifying another equation. What is another equation? So from this equation. From this system function is arranged as product of two terms that is one is this term this term is already reduced and that is the realization structure and next term is y of z by w of z next simplifying y of z by w of z now consider y of z by w of z is equal 0 0.7 minus 0 0.252 z minus z power minus 2 Next to draw the realization structure of this one. So now y of z by w of z is equal 0 0.7 minus 0 0.252 z power minus 2. So take the cross multiplication, take the cross multiplication, y of z is equal 0 0.7 w of z minus 0 0.252 z power minus 2 w of z. Now taking inverse z transform on both sides, we get we get z inverse of y of z is z inverse of y of z is y of n 0 0.1 z inverse of w of z is w of n and z z inverse of z power minus 2 w of z is w of n minus 2. This is another differential another difference equation. Draw the realization structure of this difference equation. So this realization structure consists of there are two delay elements that is W of n minus 2. And what is the input to this difference equation? W of n is an input and O of n is an output. So first draw the delay elements. So first draw the delay elements. So what are the delay elements? Z power minus 1. There is no W of n minus 1. So therefore directly consider, directly consider z power minus 2, z power minus 2 and the input of this delay element is w of n and output is w of n minus 2 that is the one way of the processor or otherwise or otherwise taking 
two delay elements or otherwise taking two delay elements so that are z4 minus 1 First delay element, and the input is input is w of n, and the output of this delay element is w of n minus one, and taking another delay element z four minus one one, and what is what the is input to this delay element? Second delay element means four root w of n minus one, and output is w of n minus two. Now we consider only one summing point, one summing point. And what is the w of n? Coefficient zero point seven. This is zero point seven. And this summing point is connected to the w of n minus two. And what is the coefficient of W of n minus 2? The coefficient of W of n minus 2 is minus 0 0.2522. So this is the relation structure of this difference equation. So this difference equation is satisfied in this realization structure. And what is the output of this realization structure? And the output is Y of n. Combining this realization structure, combining this realization structure and above realization structure combining these two realization structure we get the total or final realization structure of the given difference equation combining this difference equation realization structure and this difference equation realization structure equation finally we get combining those two structures we get the final realization structure of the given difference equation. So that is, this is a final realization structure of the given difference equation. So this is first realization structure. And this, this is first realization structure, structure, realization structure. And the second realization structure, this is second realization structure. Now, here the delay elements are same. In the first realization structure, second realization structure, delay elements are same. So, what are the delay elements? Z4 minus 1. Delay elements are common. W of n minus 1, W of n minus 2, delay elements are common. So because of that, because of that, combining the above two structure, so this is a final realization structure of the given difference equation. Okay, so that is question number 2a. Next, coming to the solution of question number 2b. Determine the transfer function h of z of the system given by y of n minus 1 plus 5 y of n is equal 4x of n plus 5x of n minus 1 plus 6x of n minus 2. So, determine the system function from the given difference equation. So this is a given difference equation. We know that z transform of x of n is x of z, z transform of y of n is y of z. J is a time shifting property of the z transform. Z transform of x of n minus m is z4 minus m x of z. So first applying the z transform on both sides into given difference equation. This is a given difference equation. So applying the z transform into this difference equation, we get Z transform of LHS term is equal to Z transform of RHS term. So applying the Z transform each uh, um, applying the Z transform into each term 
on LHS side and applying the jet transform into each terrain on RHS side. So using time shifting property of the jet transform, jet transform of y of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 y of z plus 5 into jet transform of y of n is, is y of z. Plus 4 into jet transform of x of n is x of z plus 5 into z transform of x of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 x of z plus 6 into z transform of x of n minus 2 is z power minus 2 x of z. So that is equal. On LHS side take the common y of z and at the same time on RHS side take the common x of z we get y of z into 5 plus z inverse is equal to x of z into 4 plus 5 z inverse plus 6 z power minus 2. On RHS side, x of z is coming to the LHS side. On LHS side, 5 plus z power minus 1 is going to the RHS side. We have, we get y of z by x of z is equal to 4 plus 5 z inverse plus 6 z power minus 2 by 5 plus z inverse. So, y of z is the output of the system and x of z is the input of the system. The ratio of output by input is called as system function or transfer function h of z. h of z is equal to 4 plus 5 z inverse plus 6 z power minus 2 by 5 plus z inverse. So, that is equal to the numerator take the common z4 minus 2 and the denominator take the common z4 minus 1. Numerator and denominator 1 z4 minus 1 is cancelled and the remaining term is h of z is equal 4 z square plus 5 z plus 6 divided by z into 5 z plus 1. In the numerator z4 minus 1 is coming to the denominator we have z into 5 z plus 1. So that is Question number 2B solution. So, given the difference the equation is there, calculate the system function. How to calculate the system function? Applying the jet transform on both sides into given difference the equation, we get system function or the transfer function of the given difference the equation. Next, coming to question number 3. Find the inverse response of the system described by the difference equation. <coughs> y of n minus 3 y of n minus 1 minus 4 y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n plus 2 x of n minus 1 using the transform. So, calculate inverse response of this system from the given difference equation. Okay. So, this is a given difference equation. We know that z transform of x of n is x of z z transform of y of n is y of z and using time shifting property of the z transform z transform of x of n minus m is z power minus m x of z or z transform of x of n minus a is z power minus a x of z similarly z transform of y of n minus a is z power minus 1 z power minus k y of z so first applying z transform on both side into given difference equation we get z transform of LHS term is equal z transform of RHS term. So z transform of y of n is y of z minus 3 into z transform of y of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 y of z using time shifting property of the z transform minus 4 into z transform of y of n minus 2 is z power minus 2 y of z is equal z transform is applying applying on RHS side z transform of x of n is x of z plus 2 into z transform of x of n minus 1 is z power minus 1 x of z that is equal 
On LHS side, take the common OI object and on RHS side, take the common X object. We get OI object by X object is equal is called as system function or the transfer function that is H object is equal 1 plus 2 J inverse by 1 minus 3 J inverse minus 4 J power minus 2. So this is a system function from the given difference equation. Now here we want to calculate impulse response of this system. So because of that calculate the difference equation, calculate, determine h of n. So because of that, so this system function can be reduced using partial fraction methods, partial fraction methods. So given that impulse response is there, input to the system is impulse unit impulse function. So that is x of n is equal to del of n. So calculate the impulse response of the system mean and the input to the system is unit impulse function that is x of n is equal to del of n. So if x of n is equal to del of n taking the z transform on both side z transform of x of n is x of z and the z transform of unit impulse function is 1 and applying this condition into above expression above the system function now here for the impulse response case, what is x of z? x of z is equal to 1. Applying this, this value into this condition into FO equation, we get O of z by x of z. x of z is equal to 1 here. So that is equal to h of z is equal 1 plus 2 z inverse by 1 minus 3 z power minus 1 minus 4 z power minus 2. In the denominator factor may also be written as 1 plus z inverse into 1 minus 4 z inverse. So using partial fraction method, using partial fraction method, the above equation, the above equation is written as a by 1 plus z inverse plus b by 1 minus 4 z power minus 1. So first to calculate constant a and constant b. So the constant a can be determined as a is equal the system function h of z into and its denominator factor and equating 1 plus z inverse is equal to 0 z 1 plus z inverse is equal to 0 so that is capital A is equal h of z into and what is its denominator 1 plus z inverse at equating 1 plus z inverse is equal to 0 so equating 1 plus z inverse is equal to 0 z inverse is equal to minus 1 so this is the formula we can determine constant A value so what is h of z? h of z is 1 plus 2 z inverse by 1 plus z inverse into 1 minus 4 z inverse that is h of z into 1 plus z inverse and numerator and denominator 1 plus z inverse is cancelled and the remaining term is 1 plus z inverse by 1 minus 4 z inverse and z inverse is equal to minus 1 so now substitute z inverse is equal to minus 1 we get the constant a is equal to minus 1 by 5 Similarly, calculate the constant B. The constant B is equal the system function H of Z into and its denominator factor and equating 1 minus 4 Z inverse is equal to 0. So that is B is equal H of Z into 1 minus 4 Z inverse and Z inverse is equal to 1 by 4. What is H of Z? And this is H of Z value. This is H of Z value. That H of Z into 1 minus 4 z inverse. So numerator and denominator 1 minus 4 z inverse is cancelled and the remaining factor is <coughs> 1 plus 2 z inverse by 1 minus z inverse at z inverse is equal to 1 by 4. So now substitute z inverse is equal to 1 by 4 we get the constant b is equal to 6 by 5. Substitute capital A and capital B values into this equation substitute capital A and capital B values into this equation we get the system function h of z is equal minus 1 by 5 by 1 plus z inverse plus 6 by 5 by 1 minus 4 z inverse so now taking inverse z transform on both side now taking inverse z transform on both side z inverse of LHS term is equal z inverse of RHS term but we know that 
Z transform of a power n u of n is Z transform of a power n u of n is one by one minus a z inverse or z by z minus a. So we know that Z transform of a power n u of n is one by one minus a z inverse or z by z minus a. So in this equation, Z transform of this term is equal to this. So in this equation, taking the Z inverse, inverse Z transform on both sides. So Z inverse of taking the inverse Z transform on both sides, Z inverse of 1 by 1 minus A Z inverse is equal to on LHS side, Z transform and inverse Z transform is cancelled. And what is the remaining term? A power N into U of N. Okay? So Z inverse of H of Z is H of N H of N minus 1 by 5 is constant Z inverse of 1 by 1 plus Z inverse using above condition minus 1 power N minus 1 power N U of N plus 6 by 5 is constant So Z inverse of 1 by 1 minus A Z inverse is A power N U of N Now here A is 4, 4 power N U of N So this is the impulse response of the given difference equation impulse response, response of the given difference, difference equation next question number 3b test if the following system is linear time invariant or not and the given difference equation is o of n is equal to ax of n plus b test this difference equation is Linear time invariant system or linear time variant system. So first check the given system is linear or not. How what is the statement of the linear if it satisfies the principle of the super quotient theorem? That is transformation of a x1 of n plus b x2 of n is equal a y1 of n plus b y2 of n, where small a and small b are the arbitrary constant. If the condition is satisfied, then the given system is said to be linear. Otherwise, it is said to be non-linear. So, what is the statement of the superposition theorem or linearity statement? Transformation of transformation of a x one of n plus b x two of n is equal to a y1 of n plus b y2 of n. So this is the statement of the linearity property. If this statement is satisfied as the given system is linear, otherwise it is said to be non-linear system. First check it, the given difference equation is linear or non-linear. So let us consider two input sequences x1 of n and x2 of n are the two input sequences and its corresponding outputs are y1 of n and y2 of n and the first system output is what is the given difference equation the given difference equation is y of n is equal a x of n plus b and the first system output is y1 of n is equal a x1 of n plus b and the second system output is y2 of n is equal a x2 of n plus b. So let us consider the third system. The third system is the linear combination of the two input sequences. That is x3 of n is equal a x1 of n plus b x2 of n. x3 of n is equal a x1 of n plus b x2 of n. And this is the input equation. Similarly, third system output is y3 of n is equal a x3 of n plus capital B. But x3 of n is the linear combination of two input sequences and substitute x3 of n value into here. y3 of n is equal capital A into a x1 of n plus b x2 of n plus capital B. Multiplying capital A within the bracket term, we get y3 of n is equal capital A small a x1 of n plus capital A small b x2 of n plus capital B that is considered as equation 1. So now calculate y3 of n is equal a y1 of n plus b y2 of n. 
So, but y1 of n is equal. But y1 of n is equal. This is the value, and y2 of n is equal. This is the value. Substitute y1 of n and y2 of n into this equation. This equation we get y3 of n is equal. Small a into y1 of n is a x1 of n plus capital B plus small b into y2 of n is a x2 of n plus capital B. This is such as equation two. So comparing equations one and equation two. What is equation one? This is equation one. This is equation one, and this is equation two. So comparing these two equations, transformation of a x one of n plus b x two of n is not equal to a y one of n plus b y two of n. So now here, super superposition principle theorem is not satisfied. Hence, the given difference equation is a non-linear system. Given the given difference equation is a non-linear system. So, what is the statement of the linear time invariant system? A system is said to be LTI if it satisfies both linearity property and time invariant property. Then it is said to be LTI system. And what is linear time variant system? A system is said to be linear time variant system. It satisfies both linearity and time variant property then it is called as linear time variant system now here linearity property is not satisfied hence the given difference equation is linear time variant system the given difference equation is linear time variant system Next, check it. The given difference equation is time invariant or time variant. So, what is the condition of the time invariant system? Y of n comma k is equal to Y of n minus k. If this condition is satisfied, then the given difference equation is time time invariant system. Otherwise, it is said to be otherwise it is said to be time variant system. So, first. Input to the system. What is the given difference equation? The given difference equation y of n is equal a x of n plus b. So first, the input to the system is delayed by k times, and and in this case, the output to the system is represented by y of n comma k. That is, y of n comma k is equal a x of n minus k plus b. So what is the given system? Y of n The given difference equation y of n is equal a x of n plus capital B. In this equation, what is the input? X of n is the input to the system, and y of n is the output to the system. And the first step is input to the system is delayed by k times. In this case, the output of the system is represented by symbolically y of n comma k. So that is. Y of n comma k is equal a x of n minus k plus b, and the output of the system is also delayed by same amount of the time. How to calculate the output of the system? In this case, in the given system, small n is replaced by n minus k. Small n is replaced by n minus k into given difference equation. We get. Y of n minus k is equal a x of n minus k plus b. So comparing this equation and this equation, both the equations are the same. Therefore, y of n comma k is equal y of n minus k. So this is the condition of the time invariant system. Now here, time invariant condition is satisfied, and the given difference equation is time invariant system. And in linearity case, non-linear system, and time invariant case, time invariant system. So therefore, as the given difference, as the difference, as the given difference equation is time variant system. Linearity property is not satisfied here. So because of that.